I'm gonna put this around. There we go. Let's see. Make sure we get this right. Boom. I should do it. Let me double check. What's up guys? Good to see everyone. All right. The new internet is definitely better. Like I'm not seeing any issues with the images. Looks way better. And it's actually not that much of a delay either, which is even better. So let's start with getting up the Google form. Okay. So, obviously you guys know the drill. There's going to be at least eight things given away. I think we only have to get 10 members this time around to lock in full 10. And then we obviously have to have 200 um, uh, viewers at the same time. But I don't think that's going to be a problem. We definitely have at least eight. What's up, Tim? Thanks for coming in. Thanks, Tony, for coming in. Good to see you. Ramsey's good to see you. You know, it's really cool seeing how some people have been around for a couple of months now and they're seeing some of the different icons. So thank you guys for continuing to refresh those partnerships. It really means a lot. I really thanks. Thanks for that. It's nice seeing everyone in here. It really is. I, I have some updates on the memberships. We're going to be adding a lot of benefits. Um, I realized over the last month or so, because we lost about like 150, and I, I understand it, um, that I haven't made it sweet enough. I haven't made it like you ha like really worth it. And so I'm going to add a couple of cool things. We're gonna do a member only giveaway. That's just part of it. That'll be every month. And then uh, we're also gonna add some early access features, including to insane sales. So I have a bunch of items I'm gonna be listing at, at maximum 50% off and then usually lower than that. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be worth it to be a uh, channel partner really soon. I have to work out how to do those sales in a way that makes sense. But as soon as I do, we'll be doing that and I'll be letting everyone know. So it's gonna be sweet. I guarantee it will be the cheapest prices on those items that you will find anywhere. I guarantee it. I will, I will never charge more than the cheapest possible thing ever. Like, guaranteed. So, what's up, guys? 61 people in here already. We're not even at time yet. So what do you guys think of the forward-facing versus the uh, downward-facing? Um, I actually bought a new laptop. It is screaming fast, except that it's broken at the hinge, so I have to return it. But the goal was to set up for a true streaming you know, design. I'm actually gonna use my phone as a secondary angle. So we'll have one that's this way and we'll have one that's down and I'll be able to switch between the two. I'm pretty excited about that. But it's gonna be a little bit, it's gonna be a little while because I have to return that and go from there. I love that, like, so the internet now is in this room, so it's screaming fast. 
it's much faster. So I think that that's going to help a lot. So William Robbins asks, when is the giveaway happening? So in order to participate in the giveaway, and I'm going to repeat this a lot of times throughout this, you need to go to Google Doc that's pinned in this live chat, fill out the form, and I will do the drawing at 945. The information is all in that Google document. Um, it's worked really well so far. I mean, honestly, I've been really pleased with how that system works. And there's nowhere for the scammers to intercept anyone because at no point does a email address become visible. And we have like a little four digit security code that helps like protect people. And it's been useful for a lot of things. So yeah, all you have to do Williams is fill in the Google form and then be here at 945. You can, you can go and come back. I don't start it before 945. So as long as you're here, then you're good to go. I thought about doing a desktop, but I believe very strongly in a mobile platform. I mean, I do all of my editing, basically everything from my cell phone, right? I have an S23 Ultra. That's all my editing. That's where everything is done, pretty much. I don't ever transfer it to a laptop. So for me to have a laptop, I, what I may do if I end up returning this and getting my money back, I may not go as high end as I did. I probably will just get something that, you know, maybe you're right. Maybe I do get a desktop now I think about it if all I'm using it for is streaming. There is the potential to take it with me to do work on the go. I just haven't seen it. Tony, thank you for the gifted subs. I really appreciate it. That was really nice. Thank you so much for that. So we are at that. That's pretty much capped. So we are now at the uh, nine out of ten uh, possible winners. And the only thing that we need to do in order to get to the last one, the tenth winner, is uh, hit two hundred viewers, which we've been doing pretty consistently. So I'm not too worried about that. But yeah. So there's a couple different strategies you can take. I found that if you take the time, you can make videos on your phone really, really good. I don't usually take that much time because I believe more in quantity versus quality in the sense of actually editing. As long as I have good audio and the subject matter has been covered properly, I that's pretty much when I post. And that's why I'm able to make like, I don't know, five or seven videos sometimes even a week. I, what did, how many did I do this week? like four or five already, not including this live stream. The only way I could do that is the process that I use. If I didn't, if I didn't do what I do, I, I mean, I would probably get one, maybe two videos out a week. <laughs> yeah, Earl says, uh, I got a Leatherman Arc and love it, but then I try called Leatherman about the cutters and they said they only replace it if... Uh, uh, if they break Tony with another 10 gifted memberships. Thank you so much. Tony with an eye really appreciate it. Awesome. So look at all these people will be able to get memberships. This is great. So it's my job to make sure that these memberships are worth continuing. And so, like I said, I'm going to be probably doing less giveaways in these live streams. We'll still do them. We're just not going to do as many items and as often. And we are going to fill that in with giving it to members. And so members will not have to like be there at a specific hour. I mean, we're going to make it so it's like spanning a seven day period and you just have to fill out the Google form. It'll be a lot more relaxed. I'm going to add that. That's going to be a, a thing that's going to start with this month. So December was the last, I mean, Christmas week, basically, I'm going to start the giveaway. And then at the end of that week, I'm going to announce the winners. And I think we're going to have at least three winners. We may go up to five. I haven't decided if I can do that yet, but same rules apply international or otherwise I will ship it to you basically. Thank you, Ramses. I really appreciate it. Members for two months. It's great to see you back. Really. It's awesome. And it, yes, it does help the channel to hit the thumbs up button for sure. 
So Quinn asks, members of what? So if you go to, the, you see a button below the stream, it's a join button. And what it is, it's a small, I, I made it, I made only one level and it's $2. And there's a couple of benefits to that that are current. And then I'm, like I said, I'm gonna add a giveaway every month. That's gonna be instantaneous. So that starts this month. And that's gonna be for perpetuity. Like I'm basically going to be doing that every single month in addition to whatever else we end up giving away on streams. And then I'm also going to be letting members know first when something is going to be for sale. So right now I'm posting on NAV sale. I don't know if I'll be doing it for the future, but you guys will like members and, or should say, I call them um, channel partners. You guys are going to be the first to know when that stuff hits. That's basically one of the benefits I'm going to add as well. No, it's great. It's 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 great to see everyone else. It's really nice to see those icons. And I gotta say, it's nice to see. And thank you guys for those who have continued to do it for a few months. It really it's awesome. Thank you. And Satasu forty eight. Thank you for joining as a channel partner. It means a lot, really. No, it's going to be. It's going to be really helpful, and it is my goal to get to a point where. I can let you guys as channel partners choose what the rewards are every month. I'm going to like give you guys a budget and then we're going to go crazy and we're going to pick out a bunch of stuff on Amazon and that's just what's going to get it. And if we might even do just Amazon gift cards, something like that, like, yeah, like for real, it's going to be awesome. Space Cowboy, welcome. Thank you for joining as a channel partner. It means a lot. Seriously, it really does. Really appreciate it, guys. Really cool to see everyone coming in. We already have 100 people in the chat and they haven't even technically started yet. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna go into a bunch of different things uh, just yet. We'll repeat a lot of it and I wanna answer questions as, as they come up. Yeah, shop, shopping is half the fun, so, like, yeah, I think that's that might work. We may, you know, now that I think about it, maybe I'll make, that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll make the um, channel members that those giveaways, maybe I'll give them Amazon gift cards. Because that means I can send it out to anyone Internationally, I don't have to pay for shipping. It means instead of paying for shipping, I can increase the amount of the value. Yeah, I like that. That just seems like a win, right? Then everyone gets to shop for themselves. Seems like the way to go. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I think I think that uh, Amazon gift gift cards. That seems like a win. I mean, that seems easy, right? It's not as flashy as getting something, but man, it's it's way more versatile, right? Giveaway loophole unlocked. I mean, is it a, is it a loophole? I've seen plenty of people do it. I just feel like, like, what if you don't need stuff one month? What if you actually need a little help? Like, what if somebody wins who actually needs like a $50, you know, they need to buy coffee or something like, I don't care. That sounds awesome. I mean, I'm all about it. So the reality is I want people to have what they need. And the reality is, is Amazon is, is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. And I completely respect people who don't want to use it. But uh, it is also a very convenient way for people to get goods. I had um, family members who worked in Yellowstone National Park. The USPS doesn't even deliver most places, but Amazon would, if, for instance, just an example. So it's crazy. Uh, it's, it's just it's an amazing thing. It's, it's just a beast that cannot be stopped at this point. What's your opinion on the Vosti Thunderbird? Great knife. Okay, it has three distinct ways of opening it. My 
The only thing I dislike about it, and I actually have a great example. Where's, uh, where'd that bring the knife? Where is it? Aha! It's a lot like this right here. Let's see how this looks on the, let me, let me scroll up. I want to see how this looks. Can you see it? No, that looks pretty good. Okay. So this is a new knife from Kaiser. It's basically similar to the Thunderbird in a lot of ways. It has the ability to be reverse flicked. It has a back flipper. It has a front flipper. Very similar. Except the problem is the Thunderbird, it's a little narrow in the handle and it's a little slippery. It's done very well. It's in S35VN. But the problem is, is that I just, I feel like unless you're really good about your muscle memory, it has insanely good action. You could drop the blade on your hand. So I like it. I just think that you need to be really good at that, you know, keeping your fingers out of the way before you actually get one. Does that make sense? That's my, that's my opinion. So just be aware. If you're really good at it already, then you're fine. But if you're not, just, I would skip it. Yeah, we could do, we could do Visa gift cards. That's a good point. No, no. Wait a second. There's, there's a fundamental problem with that. I have to, I have to look into it. I'll, I'll think on it though. I do want to figure out a cash solution though. I think that could work. And I'm all for it. Like if, if there's a simpler solution that is even more versatile than an Amazon gift card, I'm, I'm down. I'm, I'm for it. Just reading through some comments. James Alton, thank you for joining as a channel partner. It means a lot. Thank you so much. Really. It means a lot. Oh, wait, no, two months. Three months? Two months. Thank you for joining, for, for renewing. That really means a lot. I'm glad that they stood the emblems. I did a great job. Did a great job on that. PayPal. Well, I can't, I'm not going to be able to do money directly. That I know for sure. That, that won't work. There's a lot of reasons for it. Just trust me. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, too. If I give a gift card, right, and someone's in another country, shipping, I mean, shipping to, like, the UK or anywhere else, that costs me $40 every time because I use Priority Flat Right. So, I mean, I can give a lot more if I'm not doing that. You know what I mean? Luke Price gifted one membership. Thank you, Luke. You're the man. Appreciate it. What's up? Yes. Can you, uh, I'm doing, no, 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 stop. What's up? She'll be here soon. I know. Don't worry, she'll be here soon. I'll check in on her, okay? See you upstairs. She'll be here very soon. Well, I got to be here for a little bit, but I'll be up in a, in a little while, and Mom's probably coming in very soon. Okay? Like that? Love you. <laughs> Where did I put my cup of coffee? Things are running a little bit late today, so... No, no, you're good. Thank you. I appreciate it, Wolverine. I appreciate that. It's actually bedtime. It's always, always difficult at bedtime. Okay, uh, what, what's the Kaiser that's similar to the Thunderbird? That is this one here, and I forget, uh, I think it's called the Dogfish. Very nice, actually. I think what I really like is this texture on the aluminum. I wasn't actually sure it was aluminum. It's such a nice job they've done with the uh, anization on this. So this really nice matte gray. It's a 154 cm. It's about a hundred dollars. Um, I was gonna do like in my upcoming like video for Gear of the Week. 
I was going to be talking about it, but it's nice. I like it. She's good. She's 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 amazing. Um, we gotta at some point have her as a top down because I I don't I don't believe in putting them on camera, but we gotta do a top down shot and I gotta show you her um, EDC because we got the the um, sp uh, what do you call it the sprinkles i three T from Olay and we got sprinkles wallet from Gondek EDC and uh, a bunch of stuff from. Uh, Crispy Donut community um, has all kinds of cool stuff. Really neat. Sh she's she's awesome. Really, it, it's just it's so much fun to do it with her. And uh, yeah, we have a cool code name for her uh, for when if she wants to do that. And we'll, we'll, if if we end up deciding to to go that route and make a video like that, you'll you'll see. Dude, Tim, you're fast. You immediately got that that blink up for Crispy Donut community. Great guys, by the way. I met them at Blade Show. I talked to them a little bit before that. They're awesome. And they, they have a really cool aesthetic. And I also really, really like their patches. I think they make some of the best patches. I don't know who there does their patches, but they're phenomenal. Uh, does the Swiss Tech tool have a name? I don't know which one you're referring to. Yeah, the Para 3 Salt. I missed the pre-order for that. I'm so annoyed. Like, it is, could, could be the perfect knife overall. And uh, it sold out pre-orders on um, Blade HQ. I think you could still get it on Knife Center. Does anyone carry the Alpaca Zip Pouch Pro? Is that the small one that, that, that uh, Zach in the Wild showed? I have one. They're awesome. Yeah, they're pretty sweet. Okay, just a reminder. Anybody who's in here, probably some new people for the first time. You don't have to be a channel partner to win any of these 10 items, which I haven't even shown yet. Okay, actually, I it's like a lot more than 10 items, but 10 winners. Um, I You don't have to be a channel member or channel partner. You can just enter by filling out the Google form that is in the pinned comment at the very top of the live chat. Just fill it out, be here at 945, I'll start the drawing, it's worked really well, and, and you know, we've, we've actually got this down to a, pretty much a science. And now that I'm not doing a top-down shot, I could probably do it even faster because I don't have to keep moving the camera, you know, and all that stuff. So someone says, on the Volcase Secure, is the breakdown tray on the bottom really useful? Okay, let me show you something. So, all right, everyone's wondering why I have so many Milwaukee like little containers. I'm telling you, they are very useful. Uh, this one right here, this one is for modifying things. It has a lot of tools in it, um, components. I have about 30 different Leathermans in parts in there alone. This is storage for actual com things that I need, like the re for reference. So referent items, not all of them. Actually, I've been tool rolls of other items as well. And then over here is supplies, tape, glue, paint, you know, that kind of thing. So very helpful to be organized, absolutely essential. And yes, I do have a exclusive code for vault case right now. Um, 35% off. But people were asking, is the, is the tray actually useful? Absolutely. Um, I actually had a couple of times used it for putting new scales onto knives. And it was very helpful to have all of the components stay and not roll all over the table. 
The fact that it's a tray that could go with you, I think is huge. As I've said in my video, maybe I missed it because I remade the video. This actually has straps it comes with. So you can actually carry this like a sling bag, which is pretty cool. Now this one is, is loaded because, and it probably weighs about 10 pounds because it has all my multi-tools in it. This is the ones I actually use. You can see here. Eh. Not including the one that's missing, which is the arc, which is in my pocket. But no, the Volk is secure. This is the best organizational system that exists. I've had these for a couple years. Unfortunately, they don't have the carbon fiber in stock. This always sells out like really fast because it looks awesome. But yeah, these are great. Absolutely fantastic. I, I definitely think if you're going to get one, though, get the secure over the original version. But I do think the small one, the small one is actually pretty solid because it fits into so many other things. And they come in great colors, too. So. <sighs> I'm pretty new to the EDC. Well, thanks for coming in. Anybody who's new, guys, thanks for sh for coming in. This is something we're going to get back to doing, which is um, live streams every Wednesday at 9 p.m. I will let you guys know in each one, like if we're going to have, when we're going to have the next one. I'm going to have to streamline that a little bit because I'm not going to be able to do every single Wednesday. Like, for instance, Christmas holiday. I'm probably not streaming. I'm actually going to be traveling, as will a lot of people. So I'm not going to be streaming that Wednesday. Uh, I will be streaming the following week. So I, I should probably make like a calendar on my website and to, to try to have it narrowed down. So if I do have to take one off, like I'm not going to be there, I should take it off. That's Make a note. Uh, that's definitely something I need to do. 100%. 100%. So, yeah, so 9.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when the drawing will happen, which is in 30, 34 minutes, basically. So in 34 minutes, give or take. I started to make a video on how I made that custom Swiss Army knife, and then, you know how it goes, like... I had trouble with putting it together, so I stopped talking and just started focusing on what I was doing to get it figured out. So when you start doing that, it becomes very, it becomes very hard to make a video. And so there's that. Yeah, we definitely need a calendar. I think we need a calendar. I also am going to be paying someone to redo my website entirely. So I don't know if you know, I have a website. It has resources on it, but I'm going to have it super nice. Like I'm even going to do some blog posts explaining like what good starting points are in different categories and so on. There's a lot of things I want to do. There's so many things I want to do, but primarily I want to be an information source for people, a good starting point in an adventure towards whatever you're trying to accomplish. 12 Days of Cheeto. I love that name. That's great. Gifted five memberships thank you for adding five more people to chan the channel partners it's awesome look at all these people this is awesome thank you so much for doing that it means a lot you see tools seem to be tailored for me especially can you make suggestions for what would be best for women sandra it's funny you mentioned that i this is always something i'm thinking about how to have products that are universal instead of just being geared towards you know men or women and let's be honest most edc gear is geared towards men and it and it's silly right because 60 percent of the buying power in this country in america at least is women 60 percent of all purchases are made by women it seems ludicrous to not design things for women, whether it's wallets, flashlights, you name it. Uh, I, it's funny, yeah, it's funny you mention that. Can you make suggestions for what would be best for women? So, I, the problem is, is it's hard to do that without making assumptions about women. 
And they think that's part of the problem. People are gun shy because if you make an assumption, like for instance, uh, women have long nails. That's an assumption I'm making. It's not a fact, right? It's assumptions. If women have long nails, it makes it incredibly difficult to open something like a Swiss army knife without chipping your nails. That's just a reality. Like I knew people when I worked that could not open this without damaging their nails. So in that kind of context, what kind of tool would you recommend, right? Like that's an example. Like I said, I put a lot of thought into this because it's a fascinating problem. I'm sure I'm not the only one. But like in that context, even though it's more expensive, it would make sense to recommend something like the Leatherman T4. But there's a problem with the T4. The T4 has two springs holding in the blade, and so it's very hard to deploy for most people, especially if you are not don't have good hand strength. There's no perfect solutions. That's my that's that's my biggest annoyance with the with the category entirely. Like like I said, I put a lot of thought to, into it, and it's it's a genre that needs to be really explored. If you want, email me, and I will try to answer specific questions, and I can help you track down certain sets of gear. Because I like I said, I've done a lot of research, and if you have a specific thing in mind, I can probably help you with that one thing. So just email me, and I can help you. Yeah, Anne from Vine Climber. Awesome. She has some, and I, I've actually been really enjoying her content. She has a perspective that is so refreshing and different, and it's very useful. So definitely check out her channel for sure. Yeah, no, and honestly, feedback is helpful, Sandra. I, I, Sandra? Sandra? I always mix it up. Sorry. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all for it. So if you have some insight, this is things I can carry over and I can talk to knife manufacturers, multi-tool manufacturers. That's kind of where I want to be. I want to be someone who could be a consultant and pools a lot of knowledge from feedback and be able to regurgitate it back to uh, people who manufacture goods and can maybe get something that makes more sense, right? Like for you, like good feedback like that is invaluable. You know what's funny, Jacob, about the women versus things is up until the 19th, uh, 19th century, and pur purses were only ever carried by men. They were called satchels, and everyone had one because it was a necessity to carry your goods. If you just look at any movie or TV show showing the Revolutionary War, uh, war period, what was every man carrying? A satchel, right? Like Gunpowder and your fire starting capability. I mean, that's what we carried, right? Women never carried that stuff. I mean, right? <laughs> we were the ones who, it, who carried it. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, Erica, Erica EDC is also awesome. Like I said, I, I, we need more, we need more content creators. We need more content creators in this, in this genre, hundred percent. I'm with you. Look, there are, like my wife, very functional people. I actually had a conversation with Lawrence about the vault case where we could create like some cool stickers that can veneer the outside of the case. So it makes it into like a hybrid and could be for anyone. So I like where you're going. Definitely, I think organization, sort of uh, modularity, there's somewhere in there. Like I had an idea for making makeup brushes that have one handle, but then all the heads are like perfectly arranged. So you don't have to carry 16 brushes. It's one handle and just, they all connect magnetically. Sorry, I'm just reading comments, so I'm trying to keep up. As we get more people, it becomes harder and harder. But uh, its I always feel like I'm going to miss something.
If there's one thing, Jake, Jacob, if there's one thing I got to say is don't worry about what other people, I mean, you, you spend it, you're wasting a lot of time and a lot of joy um, worrying about what other people think. Like, here, let me give you a little hint on a bag you should absolutely check out that is uh, worth talking about. This right here is my favorite sling bag ever made. Um, it is made by a company called Dad's Fanny. I hate the name. I'm going to tell you right now. I hate the name. But this bag is phenomenal. They've made a lot of improvements over the first generation, which I have. Um, it's a better sling bag than the last one used to be. But the thing that makes it so good is that if you unzip this bottom compartment, check this out. There's a, there's a pouch at the bottom that you can put a water bottle a jacket, a umbrella, whatever it is. And it just kind of hooks on the side right here, like goes like that. And you locks in the water bottle. It's the best idea ever because water bottles are huge and they take up a ton of space. So when you shrink that amount, I mean, it makes it so much smaller. This is a fantastic, fantastic bag. God, Tim, you're fast. <laughs> He's already got the link up there. This is wonderful. And it's about half the cost of my second favorite bag, which is made by Grail. That one is made in the United States, but it is also significantly more expensive, like way more. It's very good, very, very good. But uh, the Dad's Fanny, it's really, it's just perfect. So I tried the Nightcore, I actually have it. It's not nearly as good as the Dad's Fanny, not even close, not even close. Uh, and also really expensive for some reason. Damn, Tim, you're fast. How do you do that? No, no, Vinny, we'll have another one. We'll have another one. See, it's the 13th, so we'll have one next week. We'll have one next week. So that's the, uh, tw wow, wait a second. Maybe we won't. Spoke too soon. Hold on a second. Is it really that close? We might have one on the 20th. So Monday is the, yeah, we're going to have one. I'm going to call it now. I know I'm not, I haven't left yet. Pretty sure I haven't left yet. If not, I will let people know. But as of right now, we're still going to have it on the 20th. Justin L gifted five memberships. Thank you so much for making five more channel partners. And I, I kind of need to remember to call it that. I know it says membership because it is something that I want to be a partnership with because I want you guys to have a part in kind of picking how we, how we go, like the direction in some ways. So I want you to participate. I want it to be a participatory thing, not just something like you, you join. I want it to actually matter. You know what I mean? Look forward to it. Oh, we say I have 200. We, we passed 200, so we're good. We have all 10. I guess we can start, you know, talking about the stuff that I have for um, giveaway today. Lots of stuff. Okay, where do we start? Honestly, it's going to take so long to go through it. I think we might just do it as we go. And so I actually have the ability to, uh, to talk. Oh, no, you didn't, Lou, you didn't miss the recap of the Italy trip. It was awesome. We went to Venice and we went to Rome. Uh, it was great. It was great. Uh, really enjoyed it. It was the second time I've been to uh, Italy. The first time was in 2006. I was in Venice when Italy won the World Cup against France in 2006. We flew in that, that day and they played France that night. It was the biggest party you have ever seen. It was insane. They shut down the country for a week. It was ridiculous. It was wild. I've never seen anything. Vinny! 
20 gifted memberships. Thank you for making 20 more channel partners. I really appreciate it. I, I, you know, we, you know, we're at our cap, right? Like we've, we've already like, you know, way exceeded the numbers. So thank you anyway. I really appreciate it. You guys are the best. It is fun to watch everyone get the little memberships. That's awesome. So, next tool's in here, I see. It's awesome. Well, what it just means is that the next time we, do, like next week, we're just gonna give away five, five things. So five things are just gonna be locked in automatically. So next week we'll have five more things for giveaway. Multi-tool world, I don't know what you mean about what's happened to the multi-tour world. It's chaos out there. Uh, what is a channel partner? So it's memberships, okay? So the way you can participate is you hit the join button, and what it is is a subscription that helps support the content creator. And the content creator then can give benefits to those members. So there's a bunch of things in there now, and I have talked about I will be adding, we'll be doing giveaways for members, uh, channel partners, I should say, every month. That's gonna be happening starting uh, next week. And then also we are going to um, give you early access when I go to sell things. So you guys will know what I'm selling, how much I'm selling it for, way before anyone else. So those those are gonna be really cool as well. So that's, that's for starters. I will probably have additional things that I will add to the benefits over time. Um, I really need to get myself organized so that I can really engage with that part of the community in a more meaningful way on a regular basis. For sure. It's random. So when, they, when somebody gifts a channel partnership, it's random. It's just somebody who's present in the chat who's not already a channel partner like can get it. And it just, the, the algorithm just picks a random one, basically. So it's a luck of the draw. Yeah, people do say no to free stickers. I'm just saying, they do. Okay, uh, we're half hour out. I should mention one thing. So this is gonna be cool. I will, as we go, I will show you what we're winning. But if you've ever seen that episode of Family Guy where it's like you can have the money or the, or the, the, or the, the boat or the mystery item, well, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I have a bunch of things that I've reviewed and they need to go, but they're not really big enough to give away and they're not necessarily like, you know, they're not brand new. So what I'm gonna do is if you're a US resident or you have a USA address, I'm going to give you the choice when it's, if you win, of choosing the item or the mystery medium flat rate box, which is going to be literally filled with stuff. So you, it's going to be random. It's going to be like flashlights and random stuff and stickers and all random stuff. Okay. But it's going to be filled to the top. Okay. So it depends on what you want. So I will, I will do up to two of those this time. So you can choose to do the mystery box instead. I know I have enough stuff that I can fill at least two boxes easily. Sorry, sorry. So, so anybody else, if you're, if you're front in, an, in another country, all these items fit in the small flat rate box, that's fine. When you ship internationally, you have to declare each and every item, their value and everything else. And if you could just imagine what, like putting 15 different things on that list, it's just, I can't do that. Uh, it's, it's a pain. But yeah, if you're US, if you US address, I will, I will give you that option. But I already picked out stuff so, you know, that, if you're if you're international, don't worry. You got stuff to win. Yeah. No. 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 We're not doing cash. No cash. No cash. I got way too much stuff to start giving away cash. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some first world problems there, Luke. Thunderbird is pretty nice, though. You're going to have, you know, like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But hey, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are great. You know what I'm saying?
Yeah, like, like, oh my God, the the problems I've had with international shipments, I I feel bad. I, there's nothing I can do about it, but like, for instance, whenever I ship stuff to Canada, if it's a knife, I have to take the blade out because if it, for whatever reason, drop shuts, it'll just be held up in customs for forever. So I've had to do that a couple of times in order to get it to go through customs. It's a pain. Like they are really bad at Canadian customs. What other interest hobbies do you have in addition to everyday carry? I don't really have much time <laughs> for many other hobbies. I uh, spent much of my early life fishing. And I, when I say much of my early life, I mean, I fished 200 days of the year of the year easily not 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 even close I, I i used to fly fish i used to every every type of fishing you could imagine um i was out on a boat all the time outdoors that that's what i did like all the time and i haven't done that in a long time i haven't actually touched a rod in a well okay i did once i had for our birthday present we we, we did that but other than that I haven't touched the rod in like more than a decade. It's just too bad. I really should get it back into that. Yeah, I was really good. I was really good at fly fishing. But it was purely, the reason I picked up fly fishing is because it's extra difficult. The whole point of fly fishing is because you want to make it like hard mode. Like, that's the whole point. If you didn't want it hard mode, you just pick up a spinning reel and call it a day. Now, nowadays, I just use those hobo reels. Like, that's hard enough. It's like you take a little hobo reel, like the little K-bar hobo reel, and just stuff, uh, just catch fish that way. Like, it's more, it's more challenging. Like, it's too easy with a, with a rod. Way too easy. Yeah, we definitely need to, we definitely need to do some more fishing, for sure. That's definitely going to be something for 2024. What is your favorite fish processing knife? It has been so long uh, since I've needed to do that that I couldn't really give you an accurate like statement. A fillet knife, like whatever you can buy that's a fillet knife. Um, I used to use like, I don't remember, it was just a, a pretty generic fillet knife and it worked just fine. But, uh, I mean, if I was going to spend a lot of money now, I'd probably get the one from Qua Qua Carry. Yeah. But, like, no one needs to spend $150 on a fillet knife, right? You don't need that. So the giveaway, when does the giveaway end? Well, it doesn't take, it ends when we get through all 10. But it starts at 945. And I want to be clear, if you come in a second after that finishing the, the form, that doesn't count. So anybody who's in here right now who hasn't yet filled out the Google Doc that is pinned to the live chat, please go fill it out. I It happens every time. People start filling it out after the time frame, and that's not cool. Uh, I would rather you guys have a chance to win. So definitely uh, do that. Yeah, like a fillet knife should never be expensive because you're going to lose it overboard. Uh, preferably, it should float, ideally. I mean, it really should float if you can get one. Um, yeah, like, you know what's more important than a good fillet knife is a really good sharpener to take with you. Forget, forget that, like, realistically, all the knives that you're going to want, like, they're all going to be inexpensive, stainless steel, um, and they're going to get dull quick. So what you really need to do is instead invest into a good sharpener that you can just, you know, like real quickly get that thing screaming sharp and it makes a huge difference. Yeah, Tim, Tim is fast. I don't know how he does it. Yeah, the work sharp field sharpener is the best one and done sharpener that exists. It's not even close. 
Not to mention the fact that you can replace the plates and you can replace the strop. So basically it lasts forever. You just buy the replacement parts. Have you ever thought of doing a contest? I would like to see one on one on complementary EDC functions. Like I, it's basically how I build every single everyday carry that I have. I always think complementary. That's pretty much how I do it. Do you can think that the wave is worth two point five times the clone? Gun against my head, no, it's not. Especially since they have made bad decisions that have resulted in worse quality control. After the fiasco with the Free Series, they laid off like a lot of people who quality controlled their products. So they don't have that many people now. So it's partially why you're seeing quality control issues on Leatherman. So no, I don't think it's that much. Uh, I did hear that there might be a place where you can get the Leatherman Wave for a lot less coming up on the 18th, so I'll be talking about that coming up. But uh, yeah, I mean, in general, it's really hard to argue that because I've lost Leatherman Waves. I would hurt really bad if it was like 120 versus a $30 tool, so I don't know. Oh yeah, Melissa Backwoods, she's awesome. Really good piece of, she just has great information. Yes, she makes phenomenal, entertaining content, but her information is also spot on and she does a lot of research. So, really awesome. Did I use the Teller Union after my initial review? No, um, it never got any better. I appreciated that it was a very novel approach. I ended up sending it to a friend. Um, and I didn't feel like a follow-up review would have been kind. So I didn't bother with it. That's what it came down to. So one item where you, so you either get the item or you get the random box. You get to choose. Are there any clones of Leatherman Skeletal? There is a really cool one from True Utility that I saw on Amazon. I don't know if it's a clone. It's actually got some different features, which I thought were pretty neat. I just don't... The problem with the Skeletal is it's already a, a compromise. The pliers on the Skeletal are not good. And so for that reason, I just... I, I like the form factor. I like the size, but that's about it. Tim is an AI. Hmm. Hmm. Are we Tim? Are we an AI? It'll explain a lot. Are we allowed to self promote on here? I, I'm going to say no on that, Josh. I appreciate you asking the question first, though. Yeah, the Mr. Crunch. Cool, cool tool, but, you know, $2,000. Yeah, the Wave is actually, like, because the Byberry one is 30 and the Wave is 120 so it's four times as much. Okay, so here's a good point. A used Wave today is better than a new Wave because it has the original cutters. This is the second time that they have downgraded the cutters on Leatherman's. People forget that this is the second time. The first time, when they first came out, they were 154 cm. They were really good. No one ever replaced them because they were literally lasting forever. So they're like, ah, well, we're not making any money on the cutters. So they downgraded it to the special steel or something. I don't know. We don't know what the formulation is, but it's, it's a lot worse. And this is the... Next time they've downgraded it again. So a used one is better than a new one right now. Okay. 
Crunch just started to climb. Yeah, I would imagine the Crunch, the Leatherman Crunch right now is probably like 200 something dollars on eBay right now. The curl is a great tool. Like, it's funny now because of that whole issue. Like, the bond and the curl are so much better. Because it's like, they've really messed up. And what's worse is the way they've handled it because they decided not to tell anyone. It's like, if you know and your tool happened to break, they'll replace it, but they're not going to tell the whole community because then it would make it look worse. So they, they, they're just playing the middle ground, which is the worst case scenario. you got to kind of go to the either end to have a success. Like, you either have to replace everything, let everyone know, or you have to, like, shut up. You have to be quiet. <laughs> They've done neither of the things. I have no idea when they downgraded it. I just know that at some point they, they went from the 154 CM to the non. Yeah. Yeah, the Roger too. That's a crazy knife. The Leatherman Flare is definitely considered a uh, a niche multi tool. It is a wonderful piece, though. I have to say, really, really cool. Absolutely, like so happy I have one in really good condition. Can we talk about how ridiculous this is? This is the stilliest, like not knife it's more of a folding sword this thing is ridiculous i don't know what i was thinking but uh you know i guess i had to have one you know i i've been ogling that thing for like a decade and a half so yeah it's a it's a it's a folding kukri what do you want it's amazing Wow, the garage number five cutters wrecked them also, that sucks. Which uh, Swiss Army knife model is my favorite? Uh, hmm, that's a good question. I mean, right now it's the Jet Setter probably because I can take it anywhere and I don't have to think about it, which is nice. Um, but, uh, the manager was my favorite. The manager was the perfect Swiss Army knife, and then they discontinued it, which makes me so sad. Oh, yeah. How are we doing? We've got three more minutes. Make sure you get in your uh, entries, guys. Yeah, I was saying that uh, matter that they added the phosphor bronze washers to the skeletal. That's a good change. Because they had that uh, those um, little, what do they call it, the nylon washers, and so much better. The Delmont line has been discontinued, by the way. Delmont, the Victorinox Delmont line is discontinued. Oh. <sighs> the manager was the best. Oh, man, it was so good. I'm going to be making a custom jet setter that has a another layer and with a pen, and that will be perfect. I'm telling you. Like, that's the one I'm hoping that Swiss Army will make. So I decided that I am going to make a top 10 Swiss Army knife video, but it's going to be different because it's like how to build a Swiss Army knife collection from the ground up. So if you start with the Jet Setter, think about this. The Jet Setter has the Phillips, right, in line with the scissor. It adapts with the Leatherman rebar thing, right? And then you can add, like, the camper, which has a corkscrew, but you don't need the Phillips because you got the Phillips on the Jet Setter, right? And Or you can go with something like the hiker, which has the saw because you have the scissor on the jet setter. You see where I'm going? Like if you start with the jet setter and it's always on your keychain, you just can build up from there. It's like perfect, right? But you got to have like the Rambler or the jet setter or the, or, or the mini champ. Like that's how you build up. You build up from there. 
The compact, yeah, yeah, right. Thank you, Tim, for reminding me. The compact right now is $40. It's cheaper than the Huntsman right now. It's cheaper than the Super Tinker. For the love of Mike, please buy that compact for 40 bucks. It is, if you don't have one, now is the time. It's going to be at least 60 soon. There's no, I can't believe it's still 40. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, 45. I think we got there, right? Yep, we're there. All right, let me pull up the, um, the least. So I'm not, I'm going to, let me, uh, 295 responses. Just keep in mind, guys, if I see duplicates, I'm going to pull someone else. So don't do that. Okay. Now we need to get the random number generator. And we have up to how many? See, look, all these people coming in after, uh, still coming in, and they don't count. So 292. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people who are not going to be able to participate because they got it. Nine people who are not going to be able to participate because they got it in after. So please, in the future, make sure you have this in before 945. Okay? So you got no need to enter in now. It comes in after. And it gives me to the second when people come in. All right, 292. All right. Uh, 292 and then number two. Okay, so if you've never seen this before, so let me start with, all right, so let me start with the first item that we are going to give away. It's going to be something from CJRB. I forget which one this is. Uh, so this one is the, this is the Mica. This is the mica that has the carbon fiber. Um, really, really cool little knife. So this little button lock. Very nice ARPM9 blade steel. So the way I do it is I will pick the number on the third roll of the random number generator. So I'm not going to show you guys this time around. But just trust me, it's there. Get in there. Okay. So this is the for the mica. One, two, and three. One hundred and sixty-five. One six Okay, YouTube profile here is going to be Colin Simp. Colin Simp. Uh, let's see, what do we say? All right. Let me see. No, let me find. Let me go back here and check. Tim, do we? Are we here? Oh, there he is. All right, cool. You are good to go. Let me just confirm. Okay. And then we are going to draw another number. So you're good to go. Let me put that away. So I know we're done. Okay. So next up. All right. Next up, we're going to do two knives. I'm increasing the value of each thing. Uh, we're gonna do two knives. One is the Rhino from Ramit. So this is a really cool knife, 14C28, button lock. This is the older style, so it has the really cool stop in it that I really like. 
they have, I think they've gotten rid of it in the modern version, but this is the older type, which I actually like better. There's that, and then I'm also going to give away a knife that I haven't even, I don't know if I've reviewed it yet, but uh, it's really cool. This is the WD-107 in micarta, green micarta. The button texture on this is fantastic. Action is unbelievable. Two awesome budget knives from Ramit. So let me go ahead and do the drawing for that. One, two, three. 42. 42. Okay, the YouTube profile name is Philip Coleman 6138. Philip Coleman 6138. Go back. So if you could just do me a favor, guys. Don't say congrats until we're sure they're there. It just makes it easier to find it in the uh, comment section. It helps a lot. Yeah, just save the congrats just for a few minutes until after we're sure he's here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I don't see him yet. Okay, so we'll give it, so what time? Okay, thank you, Tim. I really appreciate you keeping an eye out for things. Oh, wait, is that what him? Wait, let me double check. Okay, so Philip, because your, your name in the chat is a little bit different, what I'm going to ask you to do is to give me, you can write it in chat, the four digit code that you gave me as a security. So if you could just give me that, I can confirm it that way to make sure it is in fact the right person. I'm so thankful we did that four digit code thing. It's so helpful. Philip, do you remember what your code was? You need to just go ahead and type that for me. That'd be great. And we can move on. You probably shouldn't put the last four of your social as the four data code. Oh my God. Okay, you're good to go. Thank you very much, Philip. You got it. We got you covered. All right, moving on. Number three. One, two, and 161, 161. One hundred and sixty-one. And okay, I should probably have said what it is. What should we gonna do this for this one? All right, so for this one, we're going to do the new uh, Olight Diffuser, which is a new flashlight, pretty cool. I haven't had a chance to really play with it that much, but it's a kind of a cool flashlight. Um, and then I think this this one was geared specifically, I think, towards, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's pretty powerful, it's got some really good functions, but uh, yeah, that's really cool. And then I also have the Traxler from of uh, send cut. So that's another really nice knife, 9CR. Really good action on this one. I can reverse flick it, even though it's technically uh, not designed for that. So those two items. It wasn't quite enough with this, so I wanted to include two things. So we got that. So that one is going to, the winner for this right here is going to be first name Anthony. And YouTube profile name is Kaza, K H 
A-Z-A. Let's take a look. Yeah, okay, diffuse. No, it says diff... Come on, tell me that doesn't look like an R. Tell me that doesn't look like an R. Right? Kaza, thanks for coming in. You didn't have to give me your code, but I appreciate it. It's only if it doesn't match. So you're good. You're good to go. Let me just make sure I wrote it down in the spreadsheet. I did not. I'm glad I checked. Okay. That's the tricks. Okay. Good. So that's done. Winner three. Chosen. All right. What's next? Okay. So the next one is going to be the Best Tech Knives uh, Glock. Really cool button lock, 14C28. Compound grind on this. Really unusual kind of shape and design. And then on top of it, we're going to add the new titanium tool from Olight, which I kind of reviewed a little briefly. It's a carabiner, but also has a uh, scalpel blade. You can put number 11 scalpel blades in here, by the way. I did check that. But yeah, those two items. So that'll be our next winner. And let's go to the random number generator. One, two, three. Two, one. 292, the last one on the list, the last person who got in an exactly, exactly, like to the second, uh, <laughs> very lucky, incredibly lucky. And we just make sure, 200, yeah, yeah. So Alex, who is a lucky dog for getting in one second just in the right second. Uh, YouTube profile is at Old Man Bronco. Uh, that is the only. Um, what is this? And this is the Pest Tech Glock. Okay. Let me check to see. Do we have them? Do we have them? Uh, uh, old man something or other. What did I say? I forget what I said. Are we here? Tim, did you see him by chance? I did not. Haven't seen him yet. Okay, so. All right. So I'll give it a minute. Just a minute. And then we'll, we'll uh, continue. We're looking for old man Bronco. The lucky one that came in at the last minute. He should be here. I mean, after all, he filled it in the last minute. It's Alexander Gardner. Let me double check. Oh, that's that's correct. Okay, so um, all right. Works for me. Okay, I, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, makes sense with the email. All right, good. All right. Yep, yep, yep. Good job. All right, we got that. Well done. That's why that code is so useful because sometimes it's not the same. And so it really helps to have that code. So thank you for that. All right. This is why the congratu like not saying congratulations like too fast is is really important. So I can absolutely see comments like, "Oh, that's me." 
Yeah, it's really important. Okay, so the next one. I have two knives for the next one. Both, for, uh, one's from Trivisa, the other one is um, an O knife. So I, I talked about this one in my O life video or whatever it's called, O buy, yeah, O buy. And the other one uh, I also talked about, this is the front flipper. Really interesting construction. It's built on a traditional design, 14C28. I, uh, this is 10CR, sorry, 10CR on this one. Really good action, really unusual button lock for this. I don't know why they went with this color as a compliment. Hey, here, it is what it is. But anyway, that and we're also going to go with the O knife. So those together. Then everything back. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a drawing. One, two, and three, 95. 95. <laughs> Tim, a man. You won the next one. Good. You deserve it. So this is the uh, O knife. I know you're here. <laughs> and the this. Uh, this is the what is the name of this one? Yeah, well, I'll know which one it is. Okay. Uh, All right, congratulations, Tim. All right. <laughs> AI doesn't count. Hey. All right. He he used his he used up his luck. Used up his luck. Okay, so the next one, it's a twofer again. So this time around, it's going to be the, do I have this mixed up? No, this is the mica. I gotta fix that. Crap, this is the mini, this is the mica. The other one is the mini pyrite. Okay, hold on a second. I gotta fix that before I forget it. Hold it, hold it. Where did that go? Um, this is mini pyrite. Okay. Sorry, I, I have to fix that because when this many people are sh I'm shipping stuff out, I do not want to mix it up. That would be sucky. Okay. So random number generator. One. Two and three. 28. Pretty low. One of the early people here. 28. So this, oh, I didn't tell you what the second knife was. Okay, so the Mica, which is this one here, it's a very small knife from CJRB, really cool, is also going to give away this. This is from Revo. It is their knife that they had crazy discounted for a little while. I don't know if it still is, but 14C28, a little flipper action, G10, versatile pocket clip, pretty straightforward. Just a just a good budget knife. Um, and the winner is Muhammad. YouTube profile is Sandy a uh, Asian. It's <laughs> great. Okay. Sandy Asian. Give me a second, I'll check. Just a minute. All right. Tim, 
Do we do we see it? That Sandy Asian Mohammed. Yep. Look, I didn't make up his name. That's just what that's what it is. <laughs> I'm not repeating that, Dolan. Um <sighs> So, uh, all right, once again, start, give it a minute. I don't know, a bunch of after closed entries, unfortunately. Wait, what? William? Is that real? Is that for real? Is that even possible? Wow. Yeah, I was going to say, VPNs are not banned, like, pretty sure it doesn't matter. Uh, so the entries close at 9.45. 9.45. Five more seconds. No, VPNs are amazing. Uh, I don't know how anyone survives without them. Do you have any idea just how much information people are gathering from you if you don't have one of those? It's crazy. Like, I get it through a service that I already pay for that protects me and my reputation and everything else, too. I can't really talk about it because I don't know if I'm even allowed to talk about it. Okay, I'll just say, I'm just going to say one, one, it's two words, legal shield. They have something underneath called ID Shield. Take a look. Just saying. It's worth it. Anyway. Um, yeah. But no. Uh, so I we're done. So let me reset that. So I don't see anyone. So we're going to redraw. We're going to redraw. One, two, three. 100 even. 100 even. Okay, first name Alex. YouTube profile is Chicken Dinner. Nice. Winner, winner, Chicken Dinner. Come on. You've been, we deserve, we have to be able to say that. I mean, come on. So good. Winner, winner, Chicken Dinner. Come on, I'm just, come on. It would be, it just, they got to be here because it, it makes sense. Give it a second and then I'll start the timer. I don't see it yet. Yo, yo, do we, wait, do we even, t I'm, I'm lost. Did I even say what we were even giving away for this one? I don't think I did, did I? I'm starting the clock. All right, so. Uh, wait, is he here? Where is it? Where Where do you see it? There we go. Sweet. Okay, so let me hold on a second. I didn't even say what we. I don't even think we said what we win. So let me grab this. By the way, you guys can choose. If you want the random box of stuff, you can do it now or when I send you the email, it's up to you. But uh, the first two people to tell me are who's gonna get it. So just keep that in mind. So the next one is actually a collaboration with CJRB and um, Ferrum Forge. Really cool little knife. Uh, very good action, really nice ARRPM9 steel on this one. Small little three inch knife. Very cool. Flipper on this one. So you won that. Boom.
So that is the Ferrum Forge. I forget the name of it. I did skip. What do you mean you skip? Did I skip ahead? Crap. So Tim wants the random box of stuff. Got it. Let me fix that right now. Stop it. Uh, so Tim wants the random box. Oh, stuff. All right. Got it. All right. So that's the first one down. So, uh, hold on a second. I'm lost. Did I just go to... Crap. One, two... One, two, three, four, and five, six. I think I may have already done it. Let me... Do, t this is the only problem with doing things late and doing it by myself. Can't remember if I if I just doubled up how many times. Okay, thank you. So see, so chicken dinner is the uh, micra no is the mica and the other knife. Okay, thank you. Whew. Oh yeah yeah. I do the mica plus the Revo. That's what it was. Whew. Okay. Long day. All right. And what was he? Okay. I should I should have had this lined up and labeled. Then I would have been fine. Okay. So, oh, I just missed one. Brandon Kurtz, thank you for joining as a channel partner. Really appreciate it. A lot more stuff coming for you guys in the channel partner world. Okay, so. Thanks, I appreciate the patience. I really do. Okay, so Tim, what did I say you originally got? I forgot. What was the thing? Was that the best tech? What was it originally? I just want to take that out of the pile so I know. Yeah, it was the Trivisa and the, it was this one. It was this one, okay. So let me take that out. Put that aside for now. Let me double. Let me just make sure that I don't have that listed somewhere else. I mean, this is one of the reasons I write everything down. Meat knives. Got their meat knives. Random box of stuff, Micah Pasrivo. Okay, we're good. All right. Now we're going on to, this is why 10, 10, 10 winners is a lot. It's hard to keep everything, everything in order, but we've been good so far. We haven't had anyone get a missed delivery. <laughs> Colin Sim said he wants the other random box, I believe. Is he still here? Okay, I'm just gonna, I think that's a lot of people that said that that's the case. I will confirm with him, and if not, I will, I will go back and figure this out. Okay. 
can't find it. Okay. Random box of stuff. Okay, got it. All right, so we're good. We'll figure out the rest. This is why I'm writing it down. I have everything together, so I know I can find it. So that's good. I'm just clearly tired today. All right. So the next one, next item. Keep me on track, guys. Okay, we already did this one. We already did that one. All right. I want to do this one. This one I think you guys are really going to like. This is a big boy knife. I really like this design. I really considered keeping it, but I have so many knives. I have to start trimming, and this is... It's just a little outside, like, things I'm actually going to carry. Like, I prefer the XL Pyrite is what it comes down to, and, and I'm just never going to carry this. This is a fantastic knife, though. I'm trying to remember the name of it. I forget, but it is amazing. It's really good. Really, really good. Shoot, what is the name of this thing? Anybody? No? I always forget. Maybe someone in the comment section will help me out here. I forget the name of this thing. It's so good, though. What do you mean I skipped one? So, oh yeah, so the ferret, wait, we didn't, uh, we, 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 I remember, yeah, so, okay, sorry. So, you're correct. The Ferrum Forge needs to go first. Thank you. The Ferrum Forge goes first, because that wasn't the one we assigned to chicken dinner. We already figured that out. Good call. Good call, guys. Whew. I'm tired. I think that's what happened. I'm just, I'm just tired. So, let's go ahead and do the winner for the Ferrum Forge. Let me make sure this is it. This is not it. <laughs> There it is. Okay. All right. So the Ferrum Forge. That's what we're drawing. One, two, and three. Number nine. Number nine. And I'm going to count the number of winners because we'll, we'll get to ten. Don't worry. Sure, I didn't rewrite this the wrong way. Okay. So the winner is Dean. Dean Vogus2276. Jeremy Bowers, member for two months. Thank you so much for coming back. Awesome. Hoping we can uh, sweeten up things for you and you can start winning some stuff as well. Awesome. Oh, perfect. He's here. So, Dean, you're good to go. Let me make sure I've typed it in. And I did. So you're good to go. I will take care of you. All right. Now, we have the, yeah. Now we have the red knife. So... Still trying to figure out the name of this thing. I forget. This thing is a beast. Beast of a knife. Beast of a knife. All right. So, random number generator. One, two, and... It definitely changed. 279. 279. We've actually had a really nice distribution this time around. It's like pretty even. Uh, winner is Tanush. Tanush 
Sharma is the is the YouTube profile name. <laughs> Huge red CJRB knife. I'll look up the name later. It's made by CJRB, Arts and Cutlery. Resource. That sounds right. It's called the Resource, CJRB Resource. It's awesome. It, it, it's really quite a cool knife. I very strongly consider keeping this one. I really like this. Jim Alaska just gifted 10 memberships. 10 more people have joined as channel partners. Thank you, Jim. You're the bomb. Amazing. Absolutely awesome. You are the man. Okay. So, do we, by the way, see... Oh, wait. There, she... there they are. All right. You're good to go. Good to go. All right. That one's done. Okay. How, what are we up to here? Let me just get... Okay. How, what are we... All right. How many of these have I pulled? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're up to eight. Okay. Which is good because I have two more things. But. I have a lot of stuff that we could choose instead, so that's the only problem is uh, because we have those extra things. So which one is this? No, this is this is a good one by itself. This is a good one. It's a really good one, actually. This one I've definitely considered keeping, and I already have three variations of it, so kind of can't keep a fourth one. Do you know what I mean? This is probably my favorite budget knife in existence. It is the XL Pyrite. This one is in Micarta. Freaking amazing knife. This, this thing is so slim and so slicey and just so good. Yeah. I, I just couldn't keep a fourth one. You know what I mean? It, you gotta, gotta draw the line somewhere. Three of a one knife. That's pretty much my limit. This is the large Pyrite in Micarta and it is incredible. Okay, one, two, and three, 288. 288. 288, Jimmy. Jimmy C7803. Let's see. Jimmy, are we there? <laughs> Make the low numbers great again. Okay. We have a few more seconds. And then I'll start the timer. All right, starting the timer. One minute. We did. I think we had a hundred on the dot, actually. Someone said, "Will Leatherman send replacement cutters to arc buyers?" The answer is no, unless they break. I mean, I guess you could just say they're broken, but they might ask you for pictures. All right. Don't see it yet, so we might be re-rolling for this one. This is a good one to re-roll because this is my absolute favorite budget knife. Is it ever, maybe? It could be. 
I don't know. The, you know what? It's tough. This between this and the Nightshade from Bostied and maybe the Vision FG from Civivi. It's hard to tell. Both, All three of them are really insane. Oh, okay. We're, we're done. All right. So re-roll. All right. One, two, and three, 182. Okay. First name, Sean. Sean A. R A Y com, something? I don't know. There's like something in parentheses there. Starts with an A. Sean A something. I'll know it when I see it. All right. So, Sean, I see you. I just need you to give me your four-digit code to make sure because it's a little bit different from what it says. That's all. So just do me that, and then you're good to go. Okay, let me check that. Yep, you're good to go. Okay, so this is the Excel Pyrite Micarta. Okay. All right, that's done. So one more, last one. So the last one, we have two knives from Trevisa. Uh, so, cool knives. I actually really like the small one of the two. Funny enough. This is the one I like. I, I just reviewed these. It, I just want you to be clear. Like, I don't think the knives are bad because I'm immediately giving them away. I just have so many. There's, I'm limited on what I can keep. I really am. And I don't like keeping more than I should when so many people could just benefit from them, right? So this is one knife, it's in 14C, really nice little small fifth pocket knife, very good action. I'm trying to remember the name, I don't have it top of my head, but it's a very nice little knife in micarta. And the other one I think is also in micarta, I believe. Let me double check. I'm gonna look at the other one. So this one is... Also, no, wait. Yeah, it's also in micarta. This is a front flipper and back flipper knife. Pretty cool design. The only thing I don't like about it, like I said in my video, is that the front flipper stands a little tall, so you need to get your fingers out of the way when you, when you flip this. You just don't want to push button that. You want to light switch. Just keep that in mind. Really cool knife. Uh, these are in 10 CR. This one's in 10 CR. The other one is in 14 C. Okay. 10.30. Man, I'm running late today. Sorry, guys. Thank you for sticking around. Appreciate it. One, two, and three. 192. Uh, Ray, Crypto Knight 69. Oh, there we are. Nice. Right on. You're good to go. So that is it for today. I still have tons of stuff to give away. Um, also, you wanna see something cool? You got Before you go, you guys gotta see this. All right. So I guarantee that 
the uh, first three winners during this month for the membership, the uh, channel partners, they will each be getting a Leatherman Skeletal, 100%. Haha. -ha. So it'll probably be that plus something. I just don't know what yet. But a Skeletal is absolutely going to be happening for those who are channel members. I'll be putting that up uh, starting the last week of the month, and I'll be doing that every last week of the month. So you have to go to the Google form, which will be in the community section. So you just go to that post, it's for members, you fill out the form, that's it. Easy enough. Same thing like we're doing here. Um, but you'll have seven days to enter it. That's the big difference. A lot more time. Cool. Yeah, I, I, I had to pick up 10. I had to. I mean, it had to happen. Like, that was too good of a deal to pass up. I don't think the Skeletool is perfect by any stretch, but the base price of the Skeletool on Leatherman's website is like $80. That's $50. And then it comes with a, a sheath plus a little pocket knife. So good. Yeah, good night, guys. Um, I will be, I'll be honest, I normally send emails the, the night, the same night. I am dying. I'm like super tired. Um, I definitely will do it in the morning. Brian Kerr, thank you so much for joining as a channel partner. Really appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome. A lot more going to be happening with channel members in the future. I guarantee you. What if it, <laughs> someone comes up? What have I missed? Uh, we, we did the giveaway already. Um, it's always at 9 p.m. We always start at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The giveaway ends, like, like the time to enter ends at 9.45. George Michael Mitchell, sorry, George, George Mitchell, thank you so much for joining as a channel partner. I really appreciate it. I really do. <laughs> Cavity Search, thank you for now two months as a, a channel partner. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Aaliyah, Krestinsky, did I say it right? Hope I did. Thank you so much for joining as a channel partner. I really appreciate it. I really do. Uh, next live is going to be the 20th. We're going to be doing it on the 20th. I think I'll still be around. And if I am, I will be finding that out this week and I will be preemptively letting people know that there will be a live stream on the 20th. We will give away at least five things. I don't know if we'll do more than that. I think that's gonna where I'm gonna cap it, but we've already hit that mark. We've already absolutely hit it. You guys don't have to do anything else. Five people will win for sure. Uh, Tay G, thank you for joining as a channel partner. I really, really appreciate it. Look at all you guys coming in at the last minute. I really appreciate that. The next giveaway stream is going to be the 20th, 20th of December. We're going to space them out a little bit more after this year, but we're definitely going to get one more in before the 2024. Calix, Calix, thank you for joining as a channel partner. I appreciate that. Um, the giveaway for the Leatherman that's going to be part of being a channel partner, that's going up soon, and you will have plenty of time to enter it. Same thing with the Google Forms. I can't, because of the way partnerships, you know, the memberships work, I can't send an e like a message out to everyone. It doesn't allow me to do that. I wish it did like Patreon. So you're going to have to actively put yourself in for the giveaway. I wish there was a better way, but that's what we're going to have to do for now. Do I have a favorite OTF knife? I don't. I actually don't really own an OTF knife, actually. Sick, sick Aliti, thank you for joining as a channel partner. I really appreciate it. Welcome. Boxing. It's not going to be a. I want to be clear. 
I guarantee there's probably $200 in each of those boxes. It's just spread out among like a lot of low budget kind of stuff. Like it's gonna be a lot of stuff, but it's super helpful to me for people to pick that because I'm gonna load the daylights out of it because I have things that like are just, you know those like little things and you just can't really give it away or you'd have to give like oh, so many of them, you know what I mean? It's gonna be very helpful, so. A lot of random stuff. I'm going to literally stuff the box. Do you use a custom fixed blade for a cross draw for EDC? I have a cross draw from TKL Knives that he sent me. I really like it. It's called the... I did a video on it for one of the Gear of the Week videos. Really nice. I just don't normally carry that way. I prefer in-pocket carry or um, buy uh, like a, what do you call it? A drop cord where you attach it to your belt and you can pull it out and then, you know, yank it. That's kind of how I usually do it. Found a new red Leatherman Squirt PS4 for $40. That was lucky because they are very expensive now. Next next week, I will put some stuff aside to see if I can afford to do another mystery box. I, I like the idea. I, I like mystery boxes. I think they're a lot of fun. I could throw a ton of stuff in there. So if that's popular, you know, I might try to do one every time we do a giveaway stream. You know what I'm saying? Kev, I've talked so much about Magna Cut. I mean, come on. Like it's gonna be like Tim. You're gonna have to like take pictures and post it. It'd be kind of uh, kind of fun to see, but it's gonna be a lot of stuff. I can't guarantee you're gonna like everything in there, but it's going to be a lot. I guarantee. Like I said, I will fill it to the top. It's going to be filled. Like there will be no space. I'm not gonna need to use any packing material in this box. Because I like have random organizers and stuff that I can throw in there too. So. Nice, 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 nice. All right. That's pretty much it. <clears throat> That's why I'm giving stuff away. I don't want you guys to be jealous. I want you guys to participate. I want to be able to give you stuff so that it I don't have it, you have it. Like I got, I am very lucky to be sent stuff on a regular basis. I would love to share the wealth and it keeps my life from getting insane down here. Like I go away to Italy for like a week. I come back, there's like 20 knives like waiting for me. I just did it like that 19 knife video. I mean, that was all one week basically. See, I, I appreciate that people would pay for it, but if you have to pay for it, then I start feeling nervous about the quality that that mystery box contains. Does that make sense? Where when I'm giving it away, I know that it's it's just all bonus, right? Like if I'm selling something, I am very critical that that thing has to be really worthwhile for me to justify it. Does that make sense? Now the community is sweet. I mean, it's all about the community. That's what makes this fun. I mean, I'm not, I'll be, I'll be truthfully like with you guys, I mostly carry a multi-tool as my knife. I don't carry a folding knife that often. It's, it's pretty much just multi-tool plus flashlight for me. That's, I've been that way. Like I said, I fished every single day. The only, I ne only ever carried a fixed blade and a multi-tool. That's, that's it. Fixed blade and multi-tool. That was what I carried for like a decade. So it's hard to, hard to change, you know, but I do love, I love mechanics on knives. You know, I do really like those. What's a good multi-tool for fishing and electrical work with a file. I mean, it has to be 
something with a diamond file. So it's probably going to be a Leatherman Wave or Charge. I prefer the Leatherman Charge Plus specifically because 154 CM is a great steel. It's easy to sharpen. It has a hook on the back, which is very useful for fishing in different instances. And the ergonomics on the Charge Plus is really good. Try to get a used one, though, because then you'll have good cutters as well. Yeah, she's she's been asleep for at least an hour. So I already I had already said good night before we even came down for this. What's the thoughts on the Kaiser Drop Bear? Great knife. I'm still not sure if I like it more than the Lander 2 from NAFS, though, because they both have the clutch lock and the Lander 2. You have modular scales, which is a huge advantage. And uh, I don't know. And it also seems like they've really tuned that Lander 2 better than the Drop Bear, where the Drop Bear is a little loose. Like, it, it needs, like, the most spring tension possible. And for that reason, it's like, you know what I mean? The Kaiser Drop Bear is phenomenal. Like I, the one I have, I'll show you. Like I said, you guys, I haven't even shown everything. There's just so much stuff. Where is it? Here it is. All right. Like, here's the Drop Bear that I have. So this one is um, LC200N, one of my favorite steels ever. Great, comfortable handle. The one thing I will say is the Drop Bear has a better handle than the Lander 2. But the Lander 2 has better jimping and uh, better action. Ooh, that's a tough call. Yeah, it does have adjustable tension, but the even when you maximize the tension on the ones that it comes with, it's still really light. You need to go with like the stronger uh, Omega Springs. And then it's fine. This one is a limited release. So this one has uh, LC200N. Fantastic steel, by the way. Love it. Titanium scales on this one. I hope you like the Arc Ramses. I really do. I, I, I want, like, at the end of the day, I want Leatherman to be successful, but they keep shooting themselves in the face. Like... <laughs> What am I gonna, why? Why did he do that? It's like, like every chance they get, they're like, Poof! like, I don't know what they're doing over there. Yeah, I have a, the charge, but I have, it has that too. And uh, I actually like it without the cutters. There's an advantage to not having replaceable cutters. It makes the plier stronger. If you don't use the cutters that often, the only thing I ever use the cutters for when I was fishing is the hard wire cutter to cut a hook out of my hand twice. So that happened twice. I was, no, no. I did it once because the first time I was too young and I didn't have the tool with me and it was a fly, it was a fly hook. So it was really, really, it, you couldn't bend it through. Like it was just kind of like, so they ended up having to numb my finger and then pull it out. It's a pain. Annoying. The other one was big. The big one, I was like, yeah, I got it right out and then clipped it with the Leatherman. That was fine. Yeah. I would love to have a Gerber flick. I wish I could have a Gerber flick. That's a cool tool. I just heard that the quality control wasn't very good. Yeah, I, I just, I don't think the arc is for everyone. Like, somebody was upset at me because like, what do you mean the arc's not for electricians and plumbers? I'm like, these guys, the most of the tradesmen I know are going to laugh at you if you show up with, first of all, it's hard enough to convince a, a true hardworking tradesman to carry a multi-tool in the first place, to find value in it because they are very good at what they do, right? They know how their system works and so on. Why would they carry a something that is potentially, you know, like a mediocre version of something they already use and they know where everything is, right? There's a reason. But the point is, is then you're going to tell them, oh, it's $300. They'll laugh you off the job site. 
right? So. Yeah, I have the Lulu from NAFS, that the fixed blade. I have it. It's awesome. Yes, the cutters on the Garage 005 are the same as the Arc. They have the same problem. Somebody just said early in the chat that there's shattered on them. So, yeah, same problem. Exactly the same. I have... I started watching the, the new... Oh, wait. Indiana Knives EDZ. I don't know what that is. I think we were talking about Indiana Jones. And I was like, oh, yeah. It's started to watch the new movie. It looks actually pretty good. Yeah, I need to go. It's 1045. I need to sleep. Um, I really appreciate it. I, look, I could do this all day. Although I'll probably be like a walking zombie. But, you know, I always appreciate you guys' time. So, thank you. And we'll talk again soon. Now, how do I end this chat? I forgot. I got to I got to turn it off on there. <laughs> mm.